patients are experiencing pain related to arthritis in the shoulder, we always exhaust all non-operative measures. Those can include injections, sometimes physical therapy, activity modification, and many times that leads to a functional shoulder. When that does not work, shoulder replacement and reverse shoulder replacement are viable options and very successful options in the right patient. An anatomic shoulder means we replace the ball with the ball and the socket with the socket. There's also a reverse shoulder replacement. What that means is we flip that around. So the ball goes on the socket side, socket goes on the ball side. The reason that we do that are in some patients that have both arthritis as well as an unrepairable or damaged rotator cuff. A reverse shoulder replacement changes the center of rotation in the shoulder, allowing people to get back to pain-free range of motion. Preoperatively, every patient gets a CT scan or an MRI. What we're able to do with that is plan down to the millimeter where we'll put the new shoulder components to allow patients to get their best possible range of motion with the fastest recovery possible. We're now doing what we call a stemless shoulder, which means in the past, we had to put a big stem down the center of the bone. What we do now is we basically, it's more like a resurfacing. So it's a metal cap that goes on the bone. What that does is allows it to be a little bit less traumatic during surgery. We think speeds the recovery and sometimes leads to less pain after surgery. Future applications of shoulder replacement include robotic surgery, augmented reality and virtual reality in which there are already some applications that we're using and that will eventually most likely become the standard of care. It will be on the forefront here at Holy Cross helping to develop those things.